Does it look like it's gonna rain? Flight leaves at 6.40 and I still haven't packed yet. 10 minutes starting now. Hey guys, good morning. Today is Friday. It's currently 9.20 um, in the morning and I kind of just woke up. I have a lot to do today, so let's get to it. I am traveling today. I'm going to Orlando um, and for my birthday. So my birthday is on Sunday. And yeah, so I have things to do, including doing my hair, doing my nails, my toes, um, packing. I have not packed and the flight leaves tonight at 6 p.m. So. I have to get things do going so I'm gonna um, I woke up pretty early today I was just doing my taxes um, but pretty much I am about to make breakfast which is just a smoothie um, so it's the same every time nothing's changed except I bought moringa powder um, this is new so it's not new new I've been using it for the past few times that I've had my smoothie but it's new in my smoothie right there. This is how loyal I am. Literally, I need to get more. At this point, my worries is that thing. Sunny, sunny. This is pretty much my breakfast. Um, I'm gonna go finish what I was doing on my computer. Um, charge my battery, my camera battery. Do my hair, and then start packing. And I'll come back later, hopefully looking a little bit more put together. still trying to trim it down just to get it to like get smaller but I was trying to give myself a little bit of shape I think this is good I'm just trying to see and I still am able to put it in a ponytail this is crochet by the way um, my voice I need to drink some water this is what it looks like in the back the end is looking a little endy. I try to do my best to cover all the little depths. I think I like it, but I'll probably end up fixing the ends when I get time. I am on a time crunch and I need to clean up this mess. So I'm gonna put it up. And yeah, so currently it is 2.18 flight leaves at 6 40 and I still haven't packed yet and I, I wanted to go get my nails done today so I don't know it seemed like it's gonna work but I'm trying to be optimistic you can see the lines like the oh my gosh this is a big old gap 
Oh, I hate when crochet hair does that. I still have like one pack or one hair. So this whole thing took like four packs. Um, but also, yeah, so it took four packs, the whole four packs. And I had bought very, very long hair because I knew I was going to cut it. Oh, I can't believe I missed this. See, I should have put it up like this first so I can see if I'm missing any because you only see this when you do it like this. And the front is very crucial that you make it look right because everybody's going to see it if it doesn't. Oh, I give myself 20 minutes to do the cuts. Technically 30 and here's the timer. So that was my last piece of hair that I had left. Thankfully, it kind of filled out the amount that was left. So now I have to trim it to make it blend. Which is not really hard to do because I can just do that. And I'm trying not to pull it because then it shrinks. Like when you pull it and then you cut, it, you cut, you end up cutting more. And I try to cut in an angle so it's not just like a blunt cut. At this point, I don't see any imperfection. It's like I'm literally turning a blind eye on the imperfections because I don't have any more hair to add into it if there was so this will have to do yo the last time I did this hairstyle was like I feel like back when I was in nursing school this is all the hair that I cut and there's some like mess there so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up real quick Oh yeah, and the hair I use is the Free Tress um, braids here. Um, I'll show you all the package. This is the hair. And I used 1B color. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm just checking the weather in Orlando right now. Um, so I can like figure out how I'm packing my clothes. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be hot all week. Um, we're gonna be there today until Tuesday next week so so Saturday Sunday it's gonna be in the 70s Monday Tuesday it's gonna be in the 80s and then in the morning it's usually in the 50s 60s cool so basically pack warm for early morning and then it's pretty hot the rest of the day doesn't look like it's gonna rain that's what it's looking like I'm just gonna pack a whole bunch of shorts Pretty much this is how I lay out everything on the bed, um, trying to sort through what I'm going to wear for what day and stuff like that. This trip is pretty special, but I don't really know what we're doing. Um, so I just pack things that you can kind of wear anywhere. So these shoes are really dirty, but oh well. So these are going to be kind of like my everyday shoes. This is like if it's more like an active day type of thing. Um, I might wear the, these to the airport as well just to save space in my luggage. And then I also have sandals in my suitcase right now and inside the house shoes. And this suitcase always makes me nervous when I'm packing because it makes it look like literally nothing is going to fit in here. But we make it work. I packed two skirts, three or four dresses that I probably won't wear. Um, I'm probably going to only wear two out of it. And then four, sh five shirts. And three pairs of pants. I feel like I should take one off. One pair is jeans, <clears throat> it's jeans, and jeans usually go with everything, but I feel like I won't need the jeans. I think I'm going to take the jeans off. Hopefully I don't regret it. 
Just because it's taking up too much space and I don't think I'm going to wear it. But all the clothes and shoes are packed. Now I gotta pack my electronic stuff, my makeup, my hygiene. <laughs> Ugh. Hey Siri. Set an alarm for eight twenty. Your alarm is set for twenty twenty. Hey Siri. Uh -huh. Set a timer for ten minutes. Ten minutes starting now. trying to get the hang of painting my nails gel at home about to finish up everything and then i'll see you guys probably in orlando bye